Hey y'all, over the weekend I managed to get some uh, new old radios, old tube radios, so it's been a while since I've been able to actually get some new ones. They're, you know, you start looking for something and all of a sudden they all disappear or they're all um, very expensive. Um, but let's have a look. Here's the first one. It's a Radiola. I haven't lo looked up the models or anything of any of these yet, so I can't tell you much about them. But this one's a lovely Bakelite. The main problem with it, the little, I'm guessing these are the lamp behind them, would have been a little clear bit of plastic. They've just been pushed in. I think they're still in there though, so you can glue them. It's got all the knobs, which is a big plus, but this is, uh, this cover here is no good. You can see it's cracked there. That's plastic. It's just aged or the radio's heated it up and over time just perished the plastic. It's a nice little two colour. You can see it's white and a pretty standard Bakelite brown. I've got to clean up my desk but uh, <laughs> you can see it there. It'll come up very nicely. Beautiful. Here's the next one. It's an Asta portable. Again, can't see any models on it outside, so there's the back antenna and earth, and hopefully that's a 240 cable along with a battery, or it's probably for an external battery, but this one's plastic, so probably not as old. It should still come up pretty good, I think, with some plastic polish. And I love the knobs with the stars, with the stars in them. Isn't that funky? This plastic's gone a bit, but again, I'm hoping that the uh, plastic polish will bring that back a fair bit. Pretty sure this will come up fairly, fairly nice. Hmm. And number three, a little Phillips, which is quite small. This will be probably one of the, I'm guessing, because again, I haven't researched these yet, um, one of the newer, the last valve radios in the 50s sometime. It would have the really small, newer valves inside. Only two knobs. It's on off volume and the tuning, no, that's, that's all. Which, we come across that in, the, in a couple, but usually, usually you get three or four. It was four, three. Oh, that's, oh, see it's got a mains written on that. But we're getting back on ourselves, but this is React Mains something and battery. Hey, Winston. Good condition from the front, this one, but big crack at the top. And they happen because people, you know, you pick them up wherever there's a grip. And of course, this one actually has somewhere where you can grab hold of it. <laughs> oh, that's actually Bakelite, I'm wrong. That's not plastic at all. That's even better. Oh, there we go. Phillips model 139. So that's a 139. And that one over there is a 123. See how many other Phillips I've got. And it's quite, um, looks quite neat inside. But anyway, we'll do, we'll do fuller, um, we'll fix them up down the track. And we'll get a good look on the insides of them. Anyway, they're the new acquisitions for the radio collection from this weekend. We'll be going up there on the shelf. The top row have been restored, they're all working. The middle rows yet to be done. So there's not much room on there. There's, I've got more, but they're the better ones I like. And the bottom row, there's a couple of transistors, radios on the bottom, which I'm not so interested in. Just a bit of junk. But anyway. Hold fast, carry on.